a banquet marked the end of Lord Louis Mountbatten's term of office as Governor General of India. It was on this occasion that he presented to India, on behalf of His Majesty, a set of ten pieces of gold plate which had been in Government House since 1930. The swearing-in of the new Governor General, Mr. Raja Gopalachari, was a unique occasion. For this, of course, is the first time that an Indian has held the position. It must have been with mixed feelings that Lord Louis left the Durbar house for the start of his long journey home. Both he and Lady Mountbatten were to receive a farewell from the people of India, which displayed in full measure the esteem in which they are held by all classes. Lord Louis had been in office at a time when feeling ran high, and these scenes of his departure give us some small idea of the success with which he held it. Breaking through the cordons, the people crowded round the departing Governor-General to turn his drive to the airport into a triumphal procession. Pandit Nehru was present to see them off before the flight to England was started. Another difficult job had been carried through by Lord Mountbatten, and as the plane touched down in England, the great question was, what next? The reception at North Holt was a family as well as an official affair, with his daughter, Lady Braben, and his nephew, the Duke of Edinburgh, as well as members of the government, which included Mr. Attlee. Lord Louis had this to say to Movietown. Our thoughts and our best wishes and our warm affection will remain with our many friends in India always. The Republican convention to choose the presidential candidate